Hi, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures. And our last stop on our nine day San Diego road trip was Old Town. One of the attractions in Old Town is the Whaley House, which in 2005, Life Magazine called, quote, the most haunted house in America, end quote. I had never heard of the Whaley House before, but we took the self-guided tour and it was really interesting. Now, before I tell you about the history of the Whaley House and why it may be haunted, we're going to get an introduction. The Whaley House was designed by Thomas Whaley and made from bricks from his own brickyard. It was built in 1856 in the Greek Revival architectural style and cost $10,000. He and his family moved here in 1857. No one has lived in the house since 1953 and it first opened up as a museum in 1960. Shortly after the Whaley family moved in, they heard loud footsteps in the house, which they believed to be the ghost of James Yankee Jim Robinson, who was hanged on this property for stealing a boat, but Robinson was also suspected of murder. Then the Whaley's young son Thomas, who was 18 months old, died of scarlet fever here. A few months later, an arson fire destroyed the general store. The Whaley's moved to San Francisco shortly after that, but moved back a few years later. In 1871, when Thomas was away on a business trip, armed men held Thomas's wife Anna Whaley at gunpoint as they stole court records. There was also the violent suicide of their daughter Violet, who shot herself in 1885 due to an unbearable marriage. Her suicide note read, quote, Mad from life's history, swift to death's mystery, glad to be hurled anywhere, anywhere, out of this world, end quote. The quote was taken from a passage in a poem. The family moved out in 1885, and Thomas Whaley died in 1890 in his new home. Okay. 
As you have heard, over the years, many descendants have lived and died in this house. Some visitors have reported seeing apparitions of Thomas and Anna Whaley. Some reported hearing Thomas giggling or crying, or dressed in his frock at the top of the stairs. Workers and visitors have noticed strange sounds, sights, and aromas. They've heard sounds of children running up and down the stairs. Others reported seeing a young woman on the second floor reputed to be Violet. Some have reported lights going on and off by themselves. So is the Whaley house really haunted by ghosts or is it all imagined? I guess you'll have to come here and find out for yourself.